Hi everyone, this is Fahad Mirza and I welcome you to the channel. Nomic has just dropped an open source multimodal embedding model for text, images, PDFs and charts. In this video, we are going to install it locally and we will see how exactly it works. This model comes in two sizes, 3 billion and 7 billion. Not only that, you can also separate out the embedding multimodality from a simple embedding model which also comes in two sizes so i'm going to cover this call nomic embed multimodal model in 3 billion but you can also use the other similar models in different sizes by using the same instructions so what exactly is this model recent advances in multimodal embedding and visual document retrieval are showcased in this model when we say embedding, embedding is simply a numerical representation of your data, which could be text, your documents, or your images. This model leverages vision language model or VLM to encode documents efficiently into multi-vector representation or embedding. Call Nomic Embed Multimodal 3 billion is quite powerful multimodal embedding model that uses an architecture that directly processes interleaved textual and visual inputs, simplifying traditionally complex pre-processing workflows. With around 3 billion parameters, it achieves remarkable performance metrics such as 61.2 on the Vidor V2 benchmark, highlighting its capability for effective visual textual retrieval in a unified manner and they have shared that benchmarking information in their model card and I will drop the link to it in video's description. This call nomics embedding approach builds upon call Pally, which is another innovative model designed explicitly to remove the complexity and brittleness of traditional OCR and layout analysis pipelines. Call Pally leverages the visual transformer output patches from the Pally JAMA 3 billion vision language model and applies a linear projection to generate compact, semantically meaningful embeddings. So let's try to install it and we will see how it works. For the VM and GPU, really want to thank Mast Compute who are sponsoring it. This is my VM uh, on running Ubuntu 20.04 uh, and my GPU card NVIDIA RTX A6000 with 48 GB of VRAM courtesy Mast Compute. Let me start by creating a virtual environment. If you're also looking to rent a GPU on very affordable prices, you can find the link to their website in video's description with a discount coupon code of 50% for range of GPUs. And now let me install all the prerequisites. So which include torch, transformers, and then flash attention. Flash attention is optional. If your GPU supports it, then go for it. Otherwise just leave it. And then at the end, Koli Pali, uh, which I already uh, mentioned earlier. So just to talk a bit more about this Koli Pali. Now this Koli Pali, as I said, it uses a visual transformer output patches from the Pali Jama 3 billion VLM and then applies a linear projection to generate quite semantically meaningful embeddings. This Kohl Pally is inspired by Kohl Bird and Kohl stands for contextualized late interaction. That is a retrieval method and Kohl Pally embeddings are optimized to maximize an embedding similarity between queries and visual documents. So this practical implementation of this Kohl Pally where it has been coupled with Kohl naming, uh, Kohl Nomic really gives us a very straightforward library to integrate this multimodal embedding. And this synergy highlights the complementary nature of both models, which I am very curious to see how it performs when we try it out after the installation. Let me also introduce our very good friends at Camel AI who are sponsoring this video. Camel is an open source community focused on building multi-agent infrastructures for finding the scaling laws of agents with application in data generation, task automation, and a world simulation. And everything is installed. Let me now launch my Jupyter Notebook. 
And now let's first download the model. And I'm just simply using this transformer and coal palace engine. And the model is being downloaded as you can see. And the model is downloaded. Let me show how it works in practice. Let me first paste the code and describe what is happening in this code and then we will run it. So if you look at this code, this is showing how this multimodal embedding model, which is called Nomic Embed Multimodal, might be used to encode and compare textual queries with visual documents. First, it is creating sample data consisting of two placeholder images, one white square and one smaller black rectangle as illustrative example alongside two textual queries relevant to organizational structure and financial performance as you can see here. These queries simulate realistic requests that could be run in a visual document retrieval system. Next, this code is using a designated preprocessor to convert images and queries text into suitable tensor input format for model inference. Image and text are separate processed into respective batch representation ensuring compatibility with the underlying embedding model. The model is then applied through a forward pass producing embedding for the visual input and textual queries separately. Finally, these generated embeddings consisting of multi-vector representation are compared using the processor's scoring function which is score multi-vector uh, here. The calculated similarity scores quantify how closely each query relates semantically to each provided image, allowing for direct evaluation of query to image relevance. So let's see how it works. Let me run it. So you can see as I have run it, there is an output which is the similarity score that has been computed between the two textual queries and two image embeddings after processing them through the call nomic model. Each value here indicates how similar one query is to one image embedding. So for instance, this first row, the 7.62 and 7.56 refers to the first query, which is what is the organizational structure for our R&D being compared to these two images, which we have created above. And that um, it produced slightly different score for each image, as you can see, suggesting minor distinction in relevance whereas second one 6.5 and both 6.5 this is associated with second query and this produces identical similarity score for both images which means that there is equal relevance and generally higher score reflects greater embedding similarity meaning a stronger semantic match between the query and the image so Based on these scores, the first query shows slightly higher semantic association with both documents or images in this case compared to second query. But given these particular test images, these numbers are primarily demonstrating the workflow and embedding calculations for this particular use case. And now let's try out a real world example. For that, I have specified these two images from my local system. Let me quickly show you. So there is this page which has some handwriting um, image where is some there are first two pages, middle pages and all that stuff. And the second image is an invoice. So these are the two images which I'm going to use for the purpose of this video. And there are two queries. One is related to uh, the invoice. So in this one, I'm asking, can you show me the billing details from the invoice? And the other one is related to the handwritten readability. So what we are going to do here, we are going to check out the similarity score uh, and then we will see if there is any meaningful semantic relationship between these two. So let's run it and while it runs, let also check VRAM consumption. So it is consuming just close to 9 gig of VRAM. Okay, so let's go down. So this is the output which it, which it has produced. So if you look here, what exactly it is telling us? So it is telling us that the first query, the billing detail one, the higher score is for image two, which is 14.37, which is the invoice exactly as expected. And for the second query, 
hand written readability the higher score is for emit which is again 14.7500 the hand writing this image also correctly matches the expectation so the result really shows that the multimodal embedding model correctly aligns each textual query with the document that is semantically and visually most relevant and that really shows the effectiveness of multimodal embedding model in coherent text image retrieval scenarios so it could be a real good addition to your multimodal rack pipeline really good model as usual from nomic i have been covering nomic's model for a long time now and everyone knows about it except nomic so if you are from nomic please at least give a shout out real good models by the way if you like the content please consider subscribing to the channel if you are already subscribed Please do me a favor and share the video and the channel among your network and like it. Thank you.